In this section of the physics video tutor, we're going to talk about something very, very important, and those are the famous Newton's laws of motion. There are three uh, big picture laws that Isaac Newton came up with, and I'm going to teach you what they are, and we're going to work some problems. The first law is something that you probably heard about even before you took physics, uh, Newton's first law of motion. And that, uh, very simply stated, is an object at rest tends to stay at rest, and an object in motion tends to stay in motion. You probably heard that you know, even in a TV commercials maybe, okay? It's very simple. All it means is, in the world that we live in, okay, it's an observation, in the world that we live in, an object at rest, being this pencil, let's say, or this, this pen, if it's at rest, and it is not acted upon by any force, like a force of me moving it, or gravity, or anything like that, no wind or anything, an object at rest will tend to stay in rest for always an eternity. It will never move, it will never spontaneously start rolling unless a force acts on it. Very simple, right? Um, also, an object in motion, like let's say um, we take a baseball and we go up in, into space with it way outside of the Earth's atmosphere and I throw that baseball, an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless, again, acted upon by an outside force. So what it basically says is it's an observation of reality. Things that don't move, that are at rest, they tend to stay at rest unless you push them, okay? And an object in motion, like a baseball in space, it'll tend to move on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever unless, again, um, a force acts on it. Now, in, in the real world, we have an, an atmosphere and we have air. So if I throw a baseball, um, of course it's going to go up and it's going to come down, and the ground will eventually impart a force into that ball and the air resistance will eventually slow that ball down so we don't see things tending to move on forever and ever but if you go off into space that's exactly what they will do okay so going along with these concepts there's some definitions that I want to uh, to talk about the first one is inertia and I kinda wanna uh, to, to briefly talk about what is the concept of inertia you probably heard that word before inertia is in general the um, the resistance to motion okay so just to kind of give you a, a big picture example of what inertia is this this marker has some inertia associated with it okay that means that when I try to push it it's going to resist my my uh, the force that I apply to it it's going to initially try to to not move okay a better example of that would be a bulldozer you go put a bulldozer in space it's a giant 20 ton vehicle or something you put it up into space and even though it may be weightless it has uh, what we call inertia so if I go up to that bulldozer in space and I try to push it I mean you can kinda just think about this yourself as I push on it I mean it doesn't just freely float away from me I mean it's gonna resist me a little bit it's gonna resist now after a while I can get that bulldozer moving and it becomes a little bit easier to move it but initially it resists me and that's because a bulldozer has more inertia than this pin okay and so inertia you might guess is basically directly related to the mass of an object and, and really in the, in the biggest picture terms the mass of an object can be regarded as the units of inertia now the mass of, of an object we've already been talking about in all of our equations it's a, it's a unit called a kilogram and the mass of something the, the more atoms something has the, the physically you know the more bits of matter in there something has then the more mass it has and the more mass something has the more inertia it has, which is just another way of saying that things with a more mass, they tend to resist your motion a little bit more. So a bulldozer has a lot of mass, has a lot of inertia, it's hard to push it, um, and, a, and a marker or, or a pencil 